Ancestral Rivers and Mind Viruses. That's the title of a live virtual class that I'm going to be teaching this coming November 17th from 7.30 to 9.30 Eastern. So what is an ancestral river and what is a mind virus and what are we going to do with them? So the ancestral rivers are features in the biofield anatomy that I uncovered. They are streams of information that run about 10 inches off the body down either side. And on the one on the right side of the body, we find information from the DNA from our father's lineage. And on the left, we find it from our mother's. And so when I stick a fork in these rivers, I can actually hear the tonal and textural quality of the information that you received from both of your parents that informs the makeup of who you are. And a lot of what we've inherited is a lot of noise. There's been so much trauma, even over just the past few centuries. Think about the Civil War and World War I and World War II and, and on and on and on it goes. And these, all of these traumas have informed families and not in a good way. Uh, there's been a lot of addiction and a lot of violence and a lot of yelling and a lot of abuse and a lot of unsolved problems. And I'm really coming to see more and more that those of us here in this generation that are doing the work of cleaning up the patterns that we've inherited, that the violence or that the bad behavior um, stops with us. And I can't tell you how many of us there actually are out there doing this work. Um, I continue to discover even that things that I have struggled with uh, really aren't mine. There are patterns that I've inherited. And if we think that we are operating in isolation with the mess that we've inherited, if we look at the problems in our own life and say, I've been working so hard to fix this, whatever your challenge is, and you're still struggling, I'll tell you that it's probably a lot harder to be doing this work than you realize it is because you're not just cleaning up your own mess, you're cleaning up your ancestors' mess and the whole cultural mess that we are all part of. It's not easy work, okay? <laughs> and so in this class, we're really going to take a look at what we are downstream of and how we can understand it better so that we really recognize the magnitude of what it is that we're working to fix here. Uh, I'm also going to do a tuning. I'm going to do a 30 minute or so tuning on the ancestral rivers to help relax the noise and the difficulty that we've received. And I'm also going to talk about what I call mind viruses, which are basically nonsense programs that we have also inherited that that the damage done to our collective fields uh, has made us vulnerable to parasitic attachments that interfere with our ability to be healthy, to be true to ourselves, to follow our conscience and our guidance, to really be the best versions of ourselves. And we'll see how ancestral trauma and mind viruses are very connected. I'll teach you how to recognize a mind virus when it's running, and I'll teach you how to deprogram, how to delete, and how to reprogram that information so that you are not being disabled by these programs that are running blindly in your system. A lot of what we struggle with, especially in relationships, is coming from blind old places, and we don't need to be in that struggle. We can really clear up this kind of mess. So we'll do a 30 minute tuning. We'll do a lot of talking about and understanding what it means to be downstream of these, this mess and really literally how we can clean it up and stop these patterns from progressing, both in our own families and in our culture at large. Um, and there's a whole variety of mind viruses. So we'll look at the etymology of, of different structures like this that are uh, that are really not self, that you might think are self, but are not self. 
and <clears throat> have a, a good understanding of how to get on top of them and how to reprogram them and how to um, just be a better sailor in life without struggling with these two really important burdens that we have inherited and that we are really truly at liberty to put down now. So I will look forward to seeing you there. If you can't make it to the recorded, to the live session, uh, it will be recorded and available to you after the fact. All right, stay well.